Hi everyone, thanks again for joining on Sealed for Good. Today I'm talking about how to waterproof over expansion joints versus how to waterproof over a control joint. And there are commonly these two terms are used in the building industry, but sometimes I see it used loosely and we don't really understand what they are. So firstly, a control joint is a joint in a concrete or masonry surface that's designed to reduce the shrinkage movement in that structure, okay? Now, it, it differs from an expansion joint. So a control joint just reduces the shrinkage. An expansion joint is continuous in that structure and is designed to move, expand and contract. So when you understand the difference, expansion, expand, contract, control joint is just to reduce the shrinkage. If it is not in a solid masonry or concrete surface, it's not a control joint. It might be an articulation joint, but it's not a control joint. But let's go down the control joint and movement joint path. So a control joint then, when we have that situation, how do you waterproof over it? You don't have a lot of stresses on the membrane if you're using a flexible system, if you're confronted with that. We might use it in a vertical example. So let's say it's a retaining wall situation. If we're confronted with a control joint, I may be able to use a reinforcement band over the top of that control joint. Our position from Gripset's point of view is anything that might be there to reduce shrinkage should also accommodate a degree of movement because you're going to have some thermal movement there. So we would use our elastoproof joint band, our B50 grade, incorporated with a liquid membrane if that's the case, or prior to the sheet system being used. I've seen many good applicators do things like putting an isolation tape over the joint before they put their membrane system on it. That all works because it is always good to keep your membrane isolated from potential movement at that control joint. But remember, it's not designed to expand and contract, it's designed to prevent shrinkage in the structure. An expansion joint, however, is designed to expand and contract, and how you treat that is very important in your waterproofing application. Now, we always start with the question when we get inquiries about this, is what is the joint designed to move? What is the parameter? If it starts at five mil, is it designed to expand to 10 mil? If it starts at two mil, is it designed to expand to five millimeters? Your builder or the engineer on that construction should know what an expansion joint is designed to do, whether it's a vertical or a horizontal. So let's go back to the example we said before with the control joint for retaining wall. If you're doing a vertical, if it is an expansion joint, then you must have a system in place that allows for that movement. So again, we would use something like our elastoproof range, our B50 potentially, or if it's designed to move beyond 10 mil, we'd use our XP or our XPX grade, which can take high levels of movement. We use it on major expansion joints on car park decks where there might be tendencies below and you've got a, a ramp over the top to accommodate the expansion contraction. But most importantly is that we understand where our membrane is integrated into that expansion joint system. So if it's a vertical, it's simple. We put a system like the Elastoproof over that expansion joint, integrate our membrane on either side of the joint band and continue on. If it was an expansion joint that's gonna be tiled over, if we go back to a flooring situation like a balcony, we must make sure that that expansion joint is known to the tiler. We do not bridge the expansion joint with a liquid or a sheet system. We integrate the expansion joint allow it to move and have the sheet terminate on either side of the expansion joint and then when the tiler comes in they carry that expansion joint through their tile bed whether that be both the screed and the tile bed itself and that way everything is moving as designed in the construction if you are not certain don't be afraid to ask you can contact us at any time and we won't let anyone know there are no silly questions that come our way you can either facetime us or take a photo and get it to our guys and we can help Otherwise, discuss it with your client. The builder, as I said, if he's not sure, get an engineer in. But I'm always concerned when we ask questions about an expansion joint and someone can't tell us what the expected movement is. You need to understand that and then you can design your system around that movement parameter. If you've got any questions on this, let us know. But there's a big difference between the control joint and the expansion joint. Make sure you don't get caught out, get it moving in the right way, and the waterproofing flows on, sealed for good. I'll see you next time.